It may come as a shock to you that many colleges and universities are not only limiting free speech by choosing who can speak on campus, but even what students should and should not say. Countless higher ed institutions have adopted inclusive language guides in an effort to create an inclusive community for everyone. Everyone who thinks the same way, that is. One of these schools is my alma mater, Colorado State University. I will forever be proud to be a CSU Ram, but upon reading their version of an inclusive language guide as a student, I was both brought to laughter and appalled at what words and phrases were now considered offensive. For example, the phrase long time no see was now off limits because it was allegedly racist against Asian people. Instead, you were supposed to say, I haven't seen you in a long time. Calling a new student a freshman became offensive overnight because it had the word man in it, thus limiting gender expression. Instead, we were supposed to call new college students first years. No longer can I describe my food coma after each In-N-Out Burger experience. The term food coma supposedly, quote, directly alludes to the stereotype of laziness associated with African Americans. A stereotype I've never heard of. I suppose I'll have to settle for I ate too much. I shouldn't be suggesting that my grandparents park in handicap parking. To say handicap parking minimizes personhood and, quote, implies that people with disabilities are not capable. How dare I call any of this crazy? Using the word crazy implies that people experiencing mental health challenges are somehow not normal. Instead, I should call this speech guide surprising or wild. The words and phrases go on for nearly 10 pages, ranging from common anecdotes to everyday words, but near the top of the list is a single word which is now considered offensive, and it shook me to my core. America. The reason it's offensive? Using the word America to describe the United States poses a risk of potentially alluding that other nations in North and South America are considered lesser than the United States. America. For me, this is the last straw. Uh-oh, dare I mention those plastic monsters. Our nation's colleges and universities have fundamentally transformed from a place of education, exposing yourself to new ideas and challenging your beliefs, to supposed safe spaces which protect students from dangerous words or ideas, ideas like America. Enough is enough. It's time for our higher education institutions to truly educate our nation's young adults and prepare them for the real world, and no inclusive language guide is going to stop us from saying so.